Burger medium well. It's just another lunch shift at Bottoms Up Sports Bar in Kipps Bay, but the crew is bringing their A game, making sure they're inspection ready. From hand washing to temperature control, cross contamination prevention in the walk in box to every surface sanitized, the team here knows it's more than their reputation on the line. Is it just about that letter grade on the front of the door? No, it's much more than that. There's a huge responsibility. I mean, we've been open here for four months and we've served over 16,000 people. And, and with those people, you have a responsibility to serve them clean food that's not going to get them sick. Eddie Fami is the general manager here and makes it his mission to be at the head of the class. The coveted A grade on his health department inspection can mean the difference between knocking it out of the park or closing his doors. Why go to a place that didn't have an A? Go to the place that has an A because you know they're doing things right. You're going to get a good meal. You're going to get a clean meal. And you don't have to worry about getting sick. So it's very crucial to our bottom line. And that's where Leon Lebarski comes in. A lawyer by trade, his company has been making sure restaurants make the grade for the past year, helping them navigate the often complex world of the dreaded health inspection. Most restaurants, there is a significant loss in revenue when they have any other grade besides an A. Right now in New York, 88% of restaurants get an A grade, another 10% score a B, 2% bringing up the rear of the class with a C. And even the mighty can fall. Just days ago, the vaunted Per Se, one of New York City's top restaurants, got enough violations to give it a C rating. Their grade is pending now, giving the three Michelin star rated restaurant time to clean up its act. Do you ever eat in a restaurant that has a B or a C? No. Lubarski hires former New York City health inspectors to run mock inspections on his clients. Many, like FAMI, don't tell their crew when the pop quiz inspections are and even let staff think they're the real inspectors from the city. They pay to get an A, forking over monthly consulting fees to make sure they'll always get top marks. FAMI, a restaurant veteran, considers it an insurance policy worth the cash. You know, anything less than an A should be unacceptable to, to a potential customer. So restaurants pay hundreds to even thousands of dollars to consulting firms in order to keep their staffs on their toes, depending on how often those surprise inspections go off. The real inspection only happens once a year from the health department, more if they get lower than an A. And coming soon to a Yelp review near you, <laughs> New York City health grade. Uh, so you get the food, the service review, and the grade But right a lot there. of people also criticize Yelp, yeah. saying that, you know what, you can get on there and change uh, yeah, the reviews, too. Yeah, you can phony too. things up, mm -hmm. right? But with the, uh, the New York City health grade, it is what it is what it is, and that's an honest look. All right, thank you so much, Kirsten sure. Cole.